Hi, we're going to continue with our vol surface presentation with a little update and we're going to include um, what to do with the vol surface after we have done the calibration. As um, we had in the last talk, we uh, showed how to code uh, and plot a vol surface and raw vols. So we're going to continue from where we left off. And first we have the calibration. Uh, I've switched, I've moved around in the code a little bit so we can do calibration first and then we can use the surface calibration for the pricing. So how how does this go about? Well, let's uh, have a look. Let's get, we can get the prices from the, the options that have a market price. And then we can price these options using the surface fit that we have created in the in the function above using one of our models the saber or the wing or the stochastic volatility inspired model so just by getting the price from the fit we get a theoretical price and then we will show the price differential between the two and we will to get some sort of feeling for uh, the whole range of pricing errors we sum to a total error and, and check it out so uh, and then we can attach this to a table uh, so let's look what this looks like uh, we have the options um, for one maturity and we have the prices for all those options that are priced in the market on this date and here we can see then the theoretical price uh, and obviously we price uh, old options uh, as it's, it's a theoretical pricing from the surface and the price differential is an absolute so we have cents on the dollar and we have a total error so now we can play around to see what, what uh, different options on the modeling um, will yield for our pricing error so first we have the omex uh, with a short uh, time to maturity and what happens if we have a short time to maturity is that the Sabre model is not behaving as well as we would like. Um, we can try to force um, the at the money nodes uh, to be calibrated. And you see we have a better calibration around at the money, but the total error is then even worse. So can we do better? Um, yes, perhaps. Let's try a different model. Let's try the stochastic volatility model. Well, uh, that does not at all fit well with uh, these close to uh, maturity options. So let's try the Ving model instead to second degree polynomials. And here we can see that uh, this is uh, perhaps how the market prices these options, as you can see, almost a perfect fit. And we can see the total error uh, is almost zero. So we can see that we're repricing all the market option prices mid-market uh, almost perfectly uh, with just cents on the dollar pricing error which means that we're probably onto something here so we can just uh, try a, a different uh, underlying so let's uh, have a look at ericsson for instance again we did this in the last uh, talk as well and we can see again here the the ving model fits to these puts and the calls quite nicely we can try one of the other models the SVI model well not so good actually um, even though the total error is not that great but but um, we can uh, see if the Sabre model can do this better well it looks fairly nice actually so this would probably fly if we remove the force beta well we get a, a perfect fit in total so here we could use uh, more or less any model. But uh, this is a total spurious issue from day to day, if it works or not, and which one is best. So I'm going to stick with the Ving model for this one for today. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop us an email. Thank you.